Hi, so today I'm going to be discussing the problem with throat tones and I will be playing the first five notes of a B flat concert scale. Um, so as you can see, I have my clarinet all set up um, and everything is all, um, all good. Um, and I have my clarinet in rest position because you wanna make sure that you are staying clear away from any of these keys when you're holding your clarinet because you don't want to have any, um, you don't want to have any holes or something bad happen to your keys because it can cause leaks. Um, and that would not be good for um, playing your clarinet because that can cause lots of, lots of issues. Um, so I'm going to start out with playing the B flat concert scale. So first for the back of the clarinet, I want to place my right hand thumb under the thumb rest on the bottom. And then I place my left hand thumb on the top, on the back, on this little um, hole right here. Then I turn my clarinet back around and I place my one finger here, my two finger here, and my three finger here. And I always wanna make sure that my fourth finger has a place to go. So this hand is currently a free hand for the first five notes of a B flat concert scale. So I'm just gonna let those um, hang free, but not too far because I want to make sure that I'm remembering to stay closer um, to the bottom half of the clarinet because that does have um, a big part of our clarinet playing. So here's the first five notes of a B flat concert scale. in here um anyways so um let's see let's talk about throat tones so um a lot of throat tones happen um from really higher notes um and from so i'm pretty sure it's a flat and b flat something like that um it can cause lots of squeaking and notes that won't really come out of your clarinet and it can be harder to play. Um, ways to fix those um, would be um, not putting your lips too high up on the clarinet like this because that restricts the vibration of the um, reed because there's like a little hole right here and it the vibration of the reed is what helps make the sound. Um, and you also don't want to put it too low because um, then you won't be able to have um, the correct mouth um, placement on your clarinet. And if you don't feel um, these muscles, like when you smile, you normally feel these muscles here. When you place your mouth on your clarinet, you should always Place your hands here to feel if your lips are on the correct spot and if you're using the correct muscles. Um, that was a big game changer in um, me learning how to play correct notes without squeaking as much. Um, doing this technique really helps keep um, the notes from squeaking. Um, another good technique was um, something that you taught us where um, you kind of have to feel like you're pooping, um, but that really does explain the right position of um, where you're supposed to use your abdominal muscles um, to play your clarinet. Because I remember when I was first starting, um, I did not use those muscles and I was the last person in the class to get um, a note out. So um, now that I use these techniques, um, it really does help fix my throat tones. Um, and it keeps from notes going flat or sharp. Um, you just wanna keep everything super steady. And I know it will probably take time for these muscles to become stronger because I'm not a very big clarinet player. And so I know that if I probably were to play a long song, um, they would get tired and it might 
uh, my notes might be more flat or sharp. Um, but the ways to fix these are good. Those are good ways to drill and fix those notes from becoming flat or sharp or squeaking or <laughs> not even getting a note out. So um, that was my week four video. Thank you.